We have a ton of respect for, for Witt and, and his program. He's done a heck of a job here. He's a good guy. He's a great coach. And um, we have tons of respect for him. And we knew what we were getting when we, we came up here. This is a really good basketball team that's going to win a bunch of games, probably win their league. Uh, they're just they're really good, put together. And I like their team a lot. Um, also like my team a lot. These guys, uh, these guys sitting up here with me, along with the other 11 guys are in that locker room, have showed some resiliency. Uh, second half at Northern Illinois, and we kind of gave that one away, and that was a little bit on the coach uh, towards the end of that one. Uh, when you got a senior point guard uh, like the one sitting to my right hand, I mean, you're going to win a bunch of games. He's a winner. Uh, he and I have not spent as much time as we need to together. Uh, he kind of took a step back in his leadership role last year out of respect to the seniors, uh, but it's his team now, and we're going to go a lot by he goes, and if he, you know, he, that's what he does. He, he can do a little bit of everything. Uh, and he's going to lead his team, and uh, I like our chances with him as a leader. And then Brenton, um, you know, he and I butt heads all the time, but but he he can he can take and make tough shots. Uh, we're going to keep working with him because um, he's so competitive. He wants to go down there, and he, think, he thinks he can score it all the time. And people are going to try to take him away. So he's going he's going to have to draw that help and create for us. And he knows it, and he's getting better with it. Uh, I thought our defensive tenacity was pretty darn good for the most part. Let down a little bit at the end of, end of some Ev, Ev can't get all the rebounds. We let down a little bit, uh, finishing some pass possessions. House, houses, I mean, I admire that guy. He's tough. He's really, really good. He and he and Parsons, I got uh, a lot of admiration for the way those two guys play and how tough they are. This was a really, really good team win for us. Coach, uh, you mentioned you are butting heads with Brenton. Are you butting heads less? Than you were four years ago. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And Britain wants to do well. You know, this is a long time ago, and he and I do we do laugh about it. But he, I'm more proud of how he is off the court uh, as a, as a man than, than I am uh, on the court. But I'll go to war with him anytime because I know he's going to compete. I know he's going to fight. He loves to work. He loves to get better. Uh, sometimes he'll look at me and I'll be shaking my head. And then you know, it's just something that we have to keep watching tape with him. Uh, teams are going to they try. I mean, teams are going to try to take him away. You know, he can't go, he can't just go one against five and get, but he can. Yeah, I was but, gonna but, say, I've seen him. Yeah, he's done it, you're right, he, he can, but uh, we got a bunch <coughs> of shot makers out there and a bunch of good players, and, and he and he and Ev are tough, competitive guys. So you got a backcourt like that, you got a good chance night in and night out. Greg, you were uh, on Friday up at DeKalb, you were a little hard on yourself coming out of overtime up there. What, if anything, did you change about this overtime, and how is this one different from the one? There's a couple things on that, after watching the tape, you know, when in calling something to try to run it, we haven't worked on it enough in practice. We do so much defensive stuff, and then in our offense, it's mostly just playing uh, end of game situations, really concentrating <laughs> on execution. We talked a lot about it uh, Saturday when we went real light when we got back late. So um, that's on me, and it's also really giving them something towards the end of the game and, and, and being quick with my decisions as far as, hey, what do we want to do? And we got to get in the right places. Uh, we got to be a little more repre re re uh, uh, repeated a lot more in our um, uh, in our preparation because we got guys that can make plays. It just I got to help more. I got to help them more, and that's the way I felt, and I still feel that way. With your conception of how you want the offense run, how close was tonight's game to what you want in terms of sharing the ball, moving the ball around? Tons better, and we threw it inside. These guys threw it inside. I have had nine assists. I mean, uh, we got guys around the basket that even if they're not scoring, they're big enough and they're skilled enough that the defenses have to collapse, and they're good passers. They're going to throw it back out. Uh, I know Murph threw one into the, the, the stands, or a couple maybe. Um, but we had good, we, we've really focused on it, and these guys know how I am. Uh, and I told them it's going to be on the board before every game. Ball movement and man movement, because we got a lot of good. If defense have to shift against us, and then these guys driving it downhill and creating space, uh, it's still just a <coughs> difficult team to, 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 to stop, I think. We only took 21 threes in there. We took 30, 36 the other night. We took, about took one a minute. You know, We couldn't wait to, to get it in our hands to fire one. So we just got to work on our offense more. I know Coach Godino will hate that because he likes to take up most of practice working on our defense. But we're, we're going to keep getting better at both ends. Brenton, have you grown more off the court in your time at Indiana State or on the court? Uh, I think I've grown. Uh, significantly on and off the court. Uh, the coaches help me every single day. Uh, you know, I give a lot of credit to my teammates as well. Uh, you know, I've always felt like, you know, 
I was a good player on the court. Uh, there was a lot of growing up I had to do off the court and a lot of stuff I had to learn, but I felt like I've done a good job. What are you doing better today on the court than maybe you were your freshman year? Uh, just, you know, being smarter about my shots and uh, uh, just trying to, you know, play more team basketball. Uh, you know, my freshman year, I was always just trying to worry about myself, but, you know, I'm, now I'm more worried about the team and our <coughs> success. Greg, from a decision-making standpoint, I've had nine assists, two turnovers, was only an assist away from a triple-double, which is, you know, obviously speaks for itself. But you need to make another three, you make a shot, we'd have a triple-double. When you, But when you have somebody at the point, and this is what you expect out of Ev this year, who can basically play mistake-free basketball, I mean, obviously that's important to talk about the importance of that tonight. That's a that's tremendous efficiency, tremendous efficiency, and, and that's what he does, you know. And I, again, you you're, you look back at uh, um, him reverting a little bit, not being maybe playing the way that he's he's capable of playing because he's an unselfish guy, and deferring to some other guys. Now it's green light. It's his team. Uh, he can attack. He, but you can't keep him in front of you. Uh, and he's physical enough to get a, his own shot or make a play for somebody else. He's super super un unselfish he's always looking uh, to pass it first and then he plays both ends you know he plays both ends and guys that leaders that uh, are that, that hold themselves accountable and then do all those things they can say anything they want because they're they're gonna they're gonna play every possession they're gonna do the right thing the majority of the time and if they don't do the right thing they're busting their tail to do the right thing so it's a it's a luxury to have a, a guy with the ball in his hands like that yeah. In terms of the confidence, talk about the confidence you have in terms of the leadership role that you possess and also being the unquestioned facilitator of the offense out there. How much different is it from last year? I think it's a lot different. Um, I think last year uh, it was on me. Coach, coaches trusted me last year, and um, I just didn't take advantage of it as I should have. Uh, this year, um, I feel like the, uh, we, need, we need to move the ball a lot more than last year. And, that's what we're doing this year, and I know it's my job to get these guys shots. So uh, we have to like to say point guard each last, and we found that. I know you're not a stats guy, but to be one away from a triple double, where, where, where's your mind at on that one? Uh, I'm sure it's sit somewhere <laughs> missing. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, uh, it's good looking at the stats now. But when you're in the game, man, I'm not, not worried about none of that. I'm just trying to win. So it's good that it shows up at the end. But you got to win. That's all I care about. Coach, I think you guys played five in-state games, and maybe you can say tonight was fun because you won, but uh, um, what is it about in-state games that you like to play? Well, it saves on everybody's budget. I mean, really. I mean, you know, it's, uh, the, 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 we'll look at the, <laughs> the games on ESPN and the travel they take, and we're going to Orlando for a great tournament. We're going to do that kind of stuff every year, but there's really good teams in the great state of Indiana, really good basketball teams that if we could play home and home and just match up, you know, the Purdue's and the Indiana's, and we've been fortunate enough, Notre Dame's brought us up there a couple times, but with their TV games and having to have so many money games, it's just, you know, let's let's help out the little guys a, a little more. We have Evansville, who's a big rivalry in our league, and all, we always have great battles, but something like this, you know, me and Whit, we, we're, we're gonna keep doing this. If Alpo's agreed to play us, well, we, we'd like to play a lot of guys in state. It's great for fans. Fans can drive to it, it's great for budgets. These guys know each other. You know, we're we're a we're a team that doesn't have tons of Indiana guys uh, on our team this year, but they knew this was important. You know, we, this is an in-state rival and a very good basketball team. Uh, you go right down the line. So I'd like to do tons of in-state games. All your if you, all your non-conference other than your tournament could be in-state. I think it'd be great. There's a lot of good basketball in this. Notre Dame's not going to have you up there. I don't I think. Tell I don't you know, that. No. <laughs> After you no, beat them, we we like those guys a lot and hope they do well. But that was yeah, that was a fun trip. Brenton, similar question that I had for Ev, with him being kind of the guy in terms of running the offense, how much different is it for you and for your teammates, you know, knowing that it's it's basically going to be a mistake-free effort, it's going to be efficient, uh, how much does that help you? It uh, helps a lot. Uh, he always looks for me. He's looking for everybody. He's a facilitator. And, uh, he takes pride in, you know, getting shots for other players. And, uh, you know, last year, Devontae was our point guard. And, you know, he had more of a scorer's mentality a little bit, but Ev, you know, he's re really unselfish and he's, uh, you know, he's a great point guard and uh, I love playing with him and he makes it easy for all of us. All right, gentlemen, thanks so much.